Hi there, very warm welcome to tonight's very special Paddy Power Darts at Home. The hair's a bit long, been in lockdown so long, the car keys have got cobwebs on them. We're bringing some fantastic action. Two-time Women's World Champion Makuru Suzuki takes on 16-time Champion of the World Phil Power Taylor. Both players are being sent soft at dartboards. Phil to Stoke, Makuru 6,000 miles away in Japan. First to seven legs, winner takes all. Now Queen of the Palace, Fallon Sherrick has played both players recently, Makuru and Phil. Get her thoughts right now in her home in Milton Keynes. Fallon, how's lockdown treating you? Hi, uh, lockdown's okay. Obviously, doing the best I can. Um, still practicing, looking after my little boy. Uh, yeah, it's a bit hectic at the moment. <laughs> Back to matters this evening. I know Karen, Phil's partner, is busy watching from the sofa tonight. Makura's all by herself. Fallon, you've played in these tournaments online before. How different is it playing from your own front room? Um, yeah, it's obviously a bit different. Obviously, you haven't got all the support behind you or anything like that. But then, again, you're probably more comfortable playing at home because you're playing in your own environment as well. Um, so you just... It's like a practice and there's no pressure behind you. You're more comfortable in your own home anyway. So in fairness, I think everyone should play their best darts at home. Both Phil and Makura are using the Nexus dartboard tonight, soft tip dartboards. It means the doubles and trebles are slightly bigger than normal. It means we should see some heavy scoring tonight, Fallon. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, they're definitely bigger. So with the scoring power of, like, Phil and Makuru, I mean, it should be a great game. Obviously, they both can score really, really heavy. So I'm hoping it's going to be a great game and there's some plenty of 180s and stuff. Fallon, you've played Makura many, many times. Just how good is she? Makuru is really good. Um, she isn't just two-time world champion for nothing. I mean, that shows in itself. Um, yeah, she's just incredible. She just doesn't give up. Even if she's on the back front, like, well, at the back of the game, she, she'll just keep fighting and fighting and fighting and won't give up. And then her finishing is great. And like, like I said, her scoring. What's it like playing possibly the greatest player that's ever lived? Yeah, so I actually played Phil the other week, and yeah, Phil was just incredible. I mean, if he was still playing now, he'd, he'd be winning everything, I think. We're moments away from the action. Fallon, a quick prediction, which way is it going to go? Um, I'm going to sit on the fence a little bit here, because I'm really not sure who's going to win it, or what way it's going to go, or anything like that. But, in fairness, I might edge towards Phil a little bit, just purely because of all the experience that he's got. And obviously, Makuru is playing one of the best players there are in the world. So there might be like a little bit of nerve going on there. So I'm a bit, I'm not sure who to pick you. <laughs> so Fallon, do your best to sit on the fence there. Are you ready for darts? Let's play our NC's Drop of Donald. Ladies and gentlemen, Paddy Power in association with Target Darts proudly presents Darts at Home where the millions of you are joining us from the magnificent city of your front room, staying at home to help the health service. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to meet two legends. Firstly, would you please welcome a sensation from Osaka, Japan. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the World Cup and a two-time back-to-back reigning champion of the world. Mapuru Suzuki! And now, ladies and gentlemen, from Stoke on Trent, England, it's time to meet the legend. For over three decades, he dominated the world of darts. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time. Here's the record-breaking, history-making, 16 times, the champion of the world. It's Phil, the power Taylor. Smashed it. Remembered everything. Cufflinks, the lot. Ha <laughs> Here we go. Well, it's just good to hear John McDonald's voice again, isn't it? And it's good to see that I think his underpants match his tie. Good colour coordination from Johnny Mack. But we're looking forward to this, aren't we? Suzuki against Taylor. And incredible to think 
Uh, the miracles of modern technology. Uh, from Osaka to Stoke, as the crow flies, weighing 6,000 miles. Uh, but here we are in Phil Taylor's front room in Stoke-on-Trent. And Suzuki's front room all the way over in Osaka. Really looking forward to this. Of course, we had a fantastic game. The first game, darts at home that we commentated on when Taylor uh, was 6-3 up and lost 7-6 to Raymond Van Barneveld. Hopefully the excitement can be matched. Yeah, lock down darts indeed. The power, 16-time world champ, 59-60 in August. But let me tell you, he is as competitive as ever. Uh, I'm fortunate enough to, to play the likes of Phil and Barney Van Gerwen. Uh, in exhibitions, and let me tell you, Phil, he still wants it. Stuart, he's one of these people that he just wants to do everything the best he can. And as competition goes, all he wants to do is annihilate, annihilate opponents. And I don't think Suzuki will need a miracle to pull off a win here because she is top-notch, as we know, the two-time and reigning back-to-back -back world champ herself. Well, it hasn't taken Taylor long, has it? Of course, we know that Paddy Power will be making a thousand-pound donation to the players' respective 100. charities for every one eighty hit. So that's a thousand pounds already for the Phil Taylor, uh, his charity Heroes, uh, which supports the welfare of all the frontline NHS workers. One hundred and sixty-five. Uh, uh, her charity is Peace Wins. Uh, a charity which tackles social injustices in Japan. So hopefully a lot of money going to those. But look at this from Taylor. What a finish hey, already! Hey. Yeah, this, this is 16. for a little tendata. Now, the, the players have had a chat before. You remember those, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, some darts on, on the this line. board, uh, with it being soft tips, some register when they bounce out and some don't. So we'll just have to keep an eye on the scoreboard every now and again. But that was an 11 dart leg from Phil. He included a max. But also, Stuart, we have to note, don't we, that every dart, uh, a double Second that's hit with the first, the fir sorry, every Game visit on. from the first dart that's hit with a double, uh, £200 goes to said charity for the player. A so 85. if you see the first dart go in, that's another £200. What's happened is that basically, uh, and Wayne will explain this uh, better than me, uh, I guess when it comes to the soft dip darts play, they three. use the bullseye a lot. Uh, and what Phil and, and McCurry have, have, have actually agreed is that they'll try to actually finish the legs where possible on a double rather than the bullseye. Um, if they hit that double with the first dart, it's an extra couple of hundred quid to their charity. Does that make sense, Wayne? Yeah, yeah, it does. So, uh, effectively, if someone wants 70, uh, normal soft tip rules, you'd see someone go 20 bullseye. As Phil's in again. But today, you'll probably see a treble 10 tops. Phil started off well. Yeah, we're certainly seeing one eight legs, aren't we? That's two in the only two legs from Taylor. You know, you said he always wants to win. Doesn't matter whether it's Tiddlywinks, Dominoes, Darts, or whatever. Uh, he was smarting after losing to Barney. Oh, the first uh, Big Darts at home matches. 6-3 up, lost 7-6. Mr. Dart to win it as well. And... Barley rolling back the years, of course. 7-6, he won that greatest game at the Circus Tavern back in 2007. And 7-6, he, he beat Taylor in the first of our darts at home specials. Yeah, Phil Taylor retired from the tour as a tour player in 2018. Immediately after the world final that he lost to Rob Cross. But I was just doing some, some digging today, Stuart, some delving. In his last 20 events, he reached 60. the quarterfinal or better 19 times. Really required 24. <laughs> he ended up winning four of those. This is for a 2-0 lead. Want to go the higher yeah, side of that. Eye. And does. High and in. Taylor 2. Makuru Suzuki. Maybe she will need that miracle. 2-0. Oh, those stats from Taylor incredible. If you say 19 out of 20. Look at that averaging 120. Stats that only Wayne Mardle could dream of. 
<laughs> the leg is built yeah, to throw first. Wrong. You're not wrong, Game Mikey. But I'll Ash, tell you what, Ash, I, I don't know what it is, but I still get a bit of a buzz from, from watching Phil. I really do. He's throwing well today. Look at the power they're going in. I noticed against Barney, when the pressure got to him, the darts were kind of going in a bit, a bit lobby. He, he was hoping a bit. He's not hoping here. 108. You're both at it, Stu. Yeah, first one for McCurry. And first thousand pounds for her charity. Taylor has already hit three. 100. Of course, remember against Barney, we nearly saw a nine darter as well, didn't we? I wonder if we'll see one here. Oh. From Stoke-on-Trent or from Osaka in nice Japan. Five. Treble five, Stuart. Treble five. Oh, it's treble five. Come on now. That was your signature shot throughout your career. Shut your face. Shut your face. Good darts, Phil. T what? I, I know that the segments are slightly bigger on this board, on the Nexus, but you've still got to throw well, and Phil is throwing 100. well. 100. Will you require 81? So for another spectacular leg. Dash on the third leg. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, applauded by uh, McCurry as well. It's 3-0 to Taylor. First to seven, of course. And that means that it's another £200 to Phil's charity by hitting the, uh, the dart with... Uh, the double, rather, with the first dart and averaging 125 uh, after three legs. Well, leg is Mercurial well he averaged first. 117, I think it was, wasn't it, in the defeat to, to Raymond, like you quite rightly said, Stuart, and he was 6-3 up in that last 7-6. He's playing better today. Mercurial's in again. Look at well, Phil, look. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah you, you're leading himself. Phil. Yeah, yeah, he does that. He's leading, he couldn't Ooh. care less. Oh, first okay. bad dart is thrown. Kurt Second Evans, bad dart is thrown. <laughs> and he's had, had to call five 180s already. Great chance here then for Suzuki to win her first leg. There will be a break after five legs, by the way. We are planning Eight, more of these darts at home extravaganza, aren't we? Uh, courtesy of, of Paddy Power and, and Target Darts and their Nexus board. Uh, I'm told, I'm told that Phil Taylor is up no, for is a darts at home showdown with none other than Fallon Sherrick. So oh. come on, Fallon! Oh, yes, please. We want yeah. Sherrick in 123. The queen we, of the palace. Yeah. So we'll get Dave Clark to, to perhaps speak to Fallon at the end of this game. Pressurizer, push her into a showdown with Taylor. Mercury requires we, we have to we see want, it. We want Fallon to fell Phil. <laughs> that was easy for me to say. Well, look at look what Taylor's left. Oh, Maguru. She's only missed the big 13. Hey, look, I'll tell you what. Look, I fancy this. I fancy him for the fish. I cannot see any other... Oh, oh, he's got me. He's done the way Martin shot into the treble five. You require 32. What? I, I, I can't believe what I've just seen. Dark. Dash on the fourth leg. Is that in? Oh, yes, it's in. It goes in. So Suzuki is on the board. A wry smile from Philip Douglas Taylor. Well, if, if both of those had gone and it was a surefire 170 finish, but Suzuki is improving her scoring. Taylor still averaging 122 and 3 1 up. So here we go, the last first. leg. Game on. Before the break. Right, Stuart, I have a theory about how to pick the winner in this match. Phil's it in a lot of treble fives now. What's the what? <gasps> and again, Phil, Phil, you got the marble drift. Right, I've got, I've got a way to work this out. Right, Makuru. <laughs> Lost 3-2 to James Richardson in the World Championships, right? 140. James Richardson. James Richardson beat Barney in 2012. And Barney beat Phil last week. So that makes Makuru an odds on certainty. 120. I'm still with you, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the model logic. I'll tell you what, they're going wayward now, aren't they? 26. Now, did that register? 
I don't think it did. It's one of those, as we say, uh, darting idiosyncrasies, isn't it, on the uh, on the soft tip board. Sometimes the bounce house still register, sometimes they don't. Yep, correct. And we'll see if that first dart registered from Phil. Uh, no, it did not. Is it a treble five again? What's happening with these? There's, there's a real chance here for Makuru. There is. At 3-0, she, she, she was in big old bother. Now at 3-1, with Phil gone off the boil, it's not as dire as it seemed. Of course, we all know that you give out darting lessons and darting tips and all the rest of it and, and help players as much as you possibly can. Yeah, what I can say is that, that, that Phil Taylor has been... Uh, or must have been in, in recent <laughs> days in the Wayne Mardle School of Darting. He's learnt off you. He's learnt off you perfectly with the seven fives. Honestly, is it? <laughs> is it in a bucket load? Well, <laughs> there's there's big moments coming up here. Like Stuart's already said, there's a break after this leg. If Makuru can nick it, she can pinch it. Eighty. Makuru. Oh, another one. one. Hundred and fifty. That didn't that count didn't, either. No, that didn't count. Quite right. 150. Three balls! Oh, we'd have, we'd have settled for three balls on this occasion. Double 18! Oh, yes! Yay! What a finish! 60! 54 yeah, 36! What a finish from Makuru! From 3 0 down, she's now only one leg behind with the help of that 150 finish. What a pearler, Stuart! Well, what a way to go to the break. 3 2, Makuru, Suzuki, the back to back. Women's world champ is back in this. And we'll be back very soon for the thrilling finale of this Paddy Power Darts From Home showdown. So Makuru's come back from 3-0 down to 3-2. What do you make of Makuru's performance so far, family? Um, I, I think both performances have been great. Um, obviously, Maku Phil started off brilliantly and then obviously Makuru's brought it back. And yeah, she's just playing great. I mean, it's great to watch. That 150 checkout was a bit special, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely special. But that's what Makura is more than capable of doing, is taking out these big shot outs, like, especially when she's behind, just to bring herself back into the game. And that's that's what makes her women's world champion. The averages are pretty special too. Phil averaging nearly 110, Makura nearly 100. That's big. Yeah, they're hitting big averages. And it's just, like I said, it's just great to watch. And them averages are just showing why they are the best there is. And they're raising plenty of money for charity as well, which is really good news. Yeah, they definitely hit a lot of 180s so far, which is gaining a lot of money for charity. And yeah, I mean, what, Phil's made 3,200 at the moment, and then Makui's made 2,200. So that's a lot of money for both charities. And yeah, they're just doing great. If you had to give Makui a bit of advice now, what would you say to her? Um, just keep going and like don't give up but she does that anyway so if anything I should be the one asking her for advice um but yeah I think what she's doing is great and I think if she can just kind of get it level level and then kind of put as much score in as she can and just try and get down before Phil that might help her in the long run she's cool very cool there isn't she yeah um, nothing like phases her at all she just gets up with it goes with it and just throws it and yeah that's that's great. I mean, obviously, that's what inspires me a little bit about when I play soft tip, especially with her. And, yeah, she's just so cool about it. At the top of the show, you picked Phil Taylor to win. Are you sticking with him? At the moment, but I'm a bit changing my mind now. <laughs> <laughs> Phil Taylor leads Makuru Suzuki 3-2. Let's rejoin our commentary team, Wayne Marvel and Stuart Pike. So, Glenn gives Makuru to throw first. Game on. Me, me, I, personally... Personally, do you remember, Stuart? I said it's going, it's going to go all the way with uh, Barney and Phil. This is going all the way. This is going all the way from three 0 to three two. Makuru Suzuki has found something from somewhere. Okay, with the help of Phil because he's he's gone no, off the boil. That's not another treble five. What's it? I, I can't explain it. There I are can't no words, explain mate. it. There are no words. I've never seen it so often. Back to back, ladies. Well, beat Lisa Ashton 3 0 in January to win her second. Uh, 2019. 140. Win, win Stanley in the final. Have you heard any more, by the way? 
about Phil possibly making a a comeback, maybe, at the UK Open next year? Or has it all gone yeah. quiet on that front? I have spoke to him and uh, no. No, it's it's not going to happen. It, look, he's quite content. He's quite happy doing doing the odd corporate, uh, doing doing this, doing this kind of thing. He enjoys it. Like I said, Stu, he loves the competing, but he's now competing on his terms, isn't he? That's yeah, what absolutely. he's doing. He's enjoying life. Uh, he and his girlfriend That's Karen, they they just enough. relax, they chill Little out. They, they go cycling. He's on a bit of a, a health kick at the moment, trying to raise some money for the. The NHS workers, like his charity, Heroes. Oh. And he slid over to the left again. 135. Well, he tidied it up well to leave 32. Makuru, not really in this leg at all. I don't yeah, know, we've been, we, have been, we have been sort of joking uh, and having a laugh during, during this game with Phil to, to hit this first time. And there it is, it's a 4 2 lead. But uh, acknowledgement from Makuri Suzuki. But yeah, what you were saying before, I mean, I think it very much applied to you as well when you retired, when you gave up, decided enough was enough, that you wanted to play darts on, on your terms and, and nobody Correct. else's. And I think that's yeah. what's happened with Phil. And look at that uh, £3,400 in the charity, 112 average, 4 2 lead. And as you say, Wayne, he's just thoroughly enjoying his life at the moment. He really is. And look, he, he deserves it. He really does deserve it. He's, he's worked hard from, from, let's say, the mid-80s. He's travelled the world. And, and we know, Stuart, travelling's not that easy. Uh, look, Makuru's doing it now. She she probably does more travelling than anyone right now. Not been around very long since 2016. But she's clocking up the air miles, that's for sure. Well, it'd be great to see her back uh, at the Ali Pali at the end of the year at the World Championship. As you say, she lost in a sudden death leg to, to James Richardson in, a, in an absolute first round thriller. And it'd be also, it'd be terrific. 43. Frustrated there as one flicks the flight and goes in the treble one. It'd be great if we could see her back at the Grand Slam of Darts uh, in November uh, in Wolverhampton. All things Ooh, being well. The and safe, of course. She's, she's had a couple of appearances at the Grand Slam and, you know, she makes her mark Wherever she goes. Yeah, I thought she played well this year. She was in quite what I thought was a difficult group with Gedwin Price, Robert Thornton and Dimitri Vandenberg. I thought she, she acquitted herself well without playing anywhere near her best. Yeah, she, uh, she lost all three get, games narrowly. Yeah, she did. If she's going to get back into this, she's got to do two things. She's got to play well, but also... 425. If she can, just jump. Jump all over the mistakes that that the power was making. And he is making some. She's looking to leave tops here, if she can. 18 will do just oh, that. Now, pressure on the power. Now, he's got to be careful here, Stuart, because he cannot go for the bullseye because there's no 25 segment on this board. So he could go treble 15 or treble 7. Right, is that 45? Is it in? Whoa. It was in. That's another 200 quid. Cash on the seventh leg, Phil Taylor. Yeah, really good darts from, from Phil once again. Acknowledged uh, McCurry's set-up shot before, but uh, £3,600 to his Heroes charity and McCurry, £2,200. Hey, there's McCurry to throw first. Uh, game Peace on. wins charity in Japan as well. Another thoroughly enjoyable game, isn't it? Now, let's see what uh, what McCurry can do here. We, 140. We know for sure that Phil won't rest on his laurels after being 6-3 up against Barley and losing four legs on the spin to, to lose the game. But for me, the next three legs are crucial. So he has to win, break, and then hold again. Yeah, she's she's in trouble. Let, let's be totally honest here. She's not playing as well as Phil, and she's three legs adrift. Whilst Phil's making errors, he's cleaning it up well. And he used, his, he used his nous, didn't he, with that, with that 61? Because he wanted, or uh, players do go 25, 36. There is no 25 segment on this board. That thing in the middle you can see, the black bit is worth 50. The outside of it, the red, is worth 50 also. I, I was doing a bit of... Uh, 
just doing a bit of reading about this piece, Winds, from uh, that's Makuru Suzuki's One charity. 40. They do some brilliant work. They they help those that are that are caught in the middle of, of whether it be a conflict or or famine, uh, and natural disasters. 81. They they do all they can for humanitarian uh, disasters, basically, and such a good cause. Really, really, really nice. 49. Give me 180, come on. Yeah, good honour if she leaves. Double 16, mm. another chance to add £200 to her charity total if you can hit it first down. 140. Mercury requires Stay 32. In Get back into this game. Gash on the eighth leg. Oh, there we go. Well done. <laughs> <Finally it is. laughs> a suitable she celebration was... as well. She tell you so what, enjoys though, the, herself. The, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we talk about the miracles of modern technology. Isn't it fabulous the work that's gone in uh, to setting all these games up? And the, you know, the uh, people may say that the quality of the commentary, certainly in your case, isn't that great. But the quality of the, of the photos. <laughs> <laughs> and the pictures and the video is top draw. <laughs> no, it really is. And, and Phil Phil loves a bit of technology. So it's a case of a couple of iPhones, one aiming, at, him, one aiming, at, one aiming at the board. He was given strict instruction. Come on, Phil, you can do it. And they've done well. They've done well. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it's another it's a bounce great out. Idea. I, I tell you what, I, I, think, I think Lockdown Darts is, is here to stay. After yeah. the lockdown, we have to carry on doing this. This is yeah, I agree. this is good to see. Well, as, as you may have, or may not have heard on, on the last one, we're hoping to get sports personalities from other sports involved as well. 123. Uh, a real possibility of a, a match between the two great England cricketers, uh, Alistair Cook and, and Jimmy Anderson. I'm told that the, uh, the inimitable and indefatigable uh, character there is the 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 golfer Andrew B. Johnson. He's up for yes. a game as well, uh, and it's just really really good fun. Uh, thankfully, Wayne, you're not going to be involved in this. Just at the end of a microphone with your technical wizardry, I don't think anybody would would trust you to play. <laughs> no, I'm an I'm I'm a whiz. I'm an absolute whiz. <laughs> Phil in control. McCur switch, switch. She got away with that. Really got away with that. Now Phil wants 118. Will he have Makuru's number? You going 60, Phil? Did that register? The answer was... Oh. 83. Makuru require 126. No. And he's annoyed. Look, he still gets annoyed. He's left 35. He's fuming. If he had hair, he'd pull it out. <laughs> Well, uh, 60 to leave tops. 86. Believe that registered. 35. That registered. So, Phil now, 3 to 32. Oh, no. Is that a treble three? 26 it left. Is. Oh, the pat. Oh, that is an error. Sleep. Oh, we thought it was in. He got all cocky. Did you hear him? Phil it. Phil it. Punish well, him. Well. The most unexpected, the night leg. Uh, unexpected chances, and Phil Taylor, uncharacteristically making a complete another mess of that. And Makuri Suzuki has somehow, somehow, uh, got back into this at five four, and Phil Taylor still averaging a hundred and eight. Uh, but great to see. Night leg is Makuri to throw first. Six thousand pounds already Damn. between them. Uh, has been pocketed towards their respective charities. But Suzuki here with a chance to level. 140. Do you, uh, do you think the power's having a wobble again? 6-3 up on Barney, first to seven. 5-2 up here. This is unusual. I think it's fair to say he wasn't a happy chap. Hey, no, 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 doesn't like losing. No, he's not used to coming second, is he? He doesn't... Does he, any, come any second, does, it, does he come second when he plays you in exhibitions? Sometimes. Really? Not, not very often, but sometimes. <laughs> Look, they all do, Stuart. They all do. <laughs> I'll tell you when they don't, and that's when it matters. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. The, the, the big news 
Uh, for people who don't know, very briefly, uh, you could tell everybody that you are now officially, uh, after all those years of trying on the dartboard, you are now (laughs) a world champion. Yes, I am. 100 yes. Because Makuru slams in another max. I am the official well walk-on world champion. Brilliant. That's what I am. Good, eh? It's got a ring to it. Ah, uh, majestic. <laughs> majestic. Majestic <even>. model. <laughs> oh, 195. Makuru require 140. Makuru, 60. Right, okay. She's looking to plant just one in the treble. Gets it. High and handsome. High and handsome. Oh, dear. dear. Well, not a disaster. Phil's loitering on 186. 100. (laughs) McKee require 55. For a level game, Pikey. For a level game, pal. Two darts. One dart. Game on the 10th leg. Oh, it's in. It's in. It's Ooh. five all. Well, well Philip well, Taylor well, well, well. is smiling. Does he mean it? I don't know. Look at that. Effectively now, it's best of three to find our winner. 3,600 to yeah, heroes. 3,400 to peace wins. It's all good, clean, fun. Lockdown darts. They may be the best part of 6,000 miles away, but they're having a, a real tight game here. A close game. Are you staying sane down in Essex? It just does sound sane, do I? <laughs> <laughs> well, it couldn't be closer. Suzuki, five legs on the 361. Taylor, five legs on the 361. Four. And I don't know if you've noticed, Stuart. He's throwing quicker and quicker. Yep. yep. Concentration may have gone it. Focus. Look at the focus from the miracle. 81. It's all getting very serious now. There are lots of smiles and lots of quips and lots of enjoyment. And I'm sure there's still oh, the challenge. But it's just getting a touch serious. Isn't it? Isn't it? Just. Now no, Phil knows how I feel with hitting all them fives and treble fives. Not nice, Phil, is it? Hey. 43. Is that in? 43 it's scored. Treble one. Now, is that going to make a difference? Call Taylor with the darts. And if we go to a, a last leg to sign the full, we'll have the darts as well. A much a needed pounds. maximum. For the power. A thousand <laughs> pounds. <laughs> Spot on, Phil. A thousand pounds. <laughs> well, he got away with the visit from Makuru. 140. Which allowed oh, him to just oh, relax. Just relax. 14.32, Phil. Another 200. Another 200, Stuart. Yeah, um, yeah, and he knows it. Yeah, big win and a big leg to win as well. 6-5, so uh, Makura here has to, to hold throw to send us to uh, a deciding leg. Well, well, well. Look at that. So 107 average. And one leg away from victory. What leg is Makura to throw first? The reigning women's world champ. With a chance to take us to a decider. Let's hope she does. Yeah, let's hope she does indeed. And if it does go to that decider, the power will have the throw. Like he did against Barney. Yeah, just a a, a moment of seriousness. uh, This the lockdown darts that we're we're experiencing right here. It's because of the the COVID-19 pandemic and I hope everyone's keeping safe and well and stay safe as well. Yeah, spot on. Everybody staying at home, it's a small sacrifice. Back comes Suzuki. (laughs) He didn't like that. Yeah, he didn't like that. He's thinking, where did that come from? 
I know. Will you remember the world final against Barney in that sudden death last leg? Phil hit a 180 and thought, I've got you. Oh. Yeah. Barney came straight back and hit one as well, didn't oh, he? Oh, 132. Still the best 180 was. I've ever seen, Stuart. Still the yeah. best one. And the commentary from John Gwynn on that occasion was, was sublime. It's inviting another one, isn't it? Isn't it? 80. Well, well the bounce out may be costly there, Wayne. Very much so, mate. The power now looking. Is he going for the max? Oh, no, it's another one. grand. It's another grand, but it leaves nine. <laughs> He's not on for the nine. Makuru wants one for one to save the match. Oh, can she? Taylor. No, she cannot. Stuart, Phil Taylor wants just nine points to wrap this oh, up. 92. Phil, you require nine. Well, it's been a fantastic game. Three legs on the spin from Suzuki to get it back to five apiece. But is Phil just a little bit of a class oh, above? No. Ooh. Game two. Shot. And, and there it is. Taylor <laughs> on double two. Finally gets the job done. What a game. Terrific performance from the ladies' world champ, Makuru Suzuki. But Phil Taylor beaten by Barney. 7-6 in the first of these Paddy Power lockdown. Darts from home games. Uh, finally gets the job done. 7-5 against Makuru Suzuki. And look at that money that they both earned for their charities. 6800 for the Heroes charity for Phil Taylor. And Suzuki, £4,400 for Peace Wins uh, back in Japan. But that was a terrific game, Wayne Mardle. Yeah, that was fantastic. It really was. We expected a close contest. We got it. But ultimately, ultimately... Phil Taylor still has the power. Well, let's hope that Phil Taylor will be back uh, with darts from home very soon. And let's hope that his next game will be against a certain Fallon Sherrick. We shall see. Taylor wins 7-5. Great entertainment. We'll be back soon with more darts from home. Thanks, Stuart. Thanks, Wayne. McCurry dragged it back to 5-5. Five, five. But Phil had too much for a fan. Yeah, it was great entertainment. Um, I really enjoyed watching it. And, yeah, they just played really, really well. And they, they've raised so much money for the charities. I mean, it's incredible. And more than 11,000 raised for charity. Brilliant. Yeah, it's really it's brilliant. And, like, the charities are going to really appreciate this. And it's a lot of money. I mean, it's well, great what they've done. So Phil averaging 109.18. McCure averaging 99.62. That really is great darts. Yeah, it's great darts. I mean, it just proved it in the game. Obviously, the game is just a great entertainment to watch and it just proved it by the averages. Uh, like I said before, they are two of the best there is and they, they've just shown it with their averages. Time for the big question. I know you played Phil a couple of times recently, but are you ready for a rematch? When Marvin shoot, I'll try and nudge you in that direction. Are you game on? Uh, go on then. Uh, I've got to give it a go after watching that. Uh, I really, really want to play the soft tip now. So yeah, I'll, I'll give it a go. Fallon, what are you doing next week? Can we sort it out? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> it's not like I'm doing anything. <laughs> so that's it. Fallon Sherrick has accepted the challenge. She will take on Phil the Power Taylor. Phil game on. He's beat Makuru. Can he beat the Queen of the Palace? Join us same time, same place next week for more darts from home.